Hello guys, I made a video about this before, but I just want to make it again and show more examples, okay? So basically we can customize our click sheet with CSS using a multi-KPI object, okay? So for this example, I have the code here already and you can download it from the blog, you can uh, find it in the blog, okay? And in the description, the link is in the description, but uh, first step, let's bring a multi-KPI to the page and add in here uh, one as a measure you can like use any measure but basically it needs a measure or a dimension to work okay so let's hide the labels and the values and also let me remove the title because we don't need it um as you might know click runs in the browser so even if even click desktop it runs in the browser you can access in Chrome, Firefox, or wherever. If you type localhost 4848 and like the, the address, after this you can type hub and you find all your apps, okay? Um, if you type, or if you go to the dev tools, try typing F12, you can inspect all the elements in the page. And the first one we're gonna add it is the QV panel sheet. So this class is in here. And I've got the code here already, so let me just copy and paste it. So this section here, if I bring it to this tab, in the styles from the multi-KPI object, we get this background because it's set up this way, okay? Using the CSS, we have some websites such as CSS Gradient, and you can customize the way you want, okay? Like select your colors and the code will be down here. Let me use this example here. So if I change this part for that one, like I get this blue, the same, basically the same colors that I have here, right? And you can rotate it and get the color again and the code again and replace it there, okay? Um, changing this section, I can also create a sort of um, left left pane, let's say, like this left, um, let me hide this object in here somewhere, because this, this might help you uh, to get more style with your style with your sheet, right? So you might, like you can see that we have this gray and gray line in our uh, sheet. And another cool thing we can do here is to change the green color to another color, selected values. So using these classes in here, we can, let me show you. We can also add it. So like, here I got the blue color, but let's say that I want to customize it using yellow. So let me pick here from the Google color picker some yellow color, get a hex value and change it in here. So with this, basically all my filters will select with yellow. Right, not from here because uh, that code is specifically is from the the filter pane, not from the tables. But we can do the same by inspecting the page and finding the elements in the CSS that are responsible for this. Okay. Now, if you combine this with the options to change the header color, the background color here, it gets much better. Right, so you can select it from here and change all the colors and match it with your background, with your uh, selected values and so on. That's it for today and hope you, I hope you like it and hopefully I see you soon in the next video.